Hi, I'm Danny. Today we're going to build a million dollar looking fence on a budget using scrap. Okay, take two. <laughs> so I picked up all this fencing for about $300 total. I have some used one by three pickets and one by six board on board picket fencing and let me show you what I'm going to do. Now you can see a lot of the boards are rotting but that's okay. I'm only needing four feet so these are six foot planks. I'm going to cut off the rot and get four feet of good plank and that's what I'm going to use to build my fence. I've brought my cut section over here to a tarp. We're gonna pull the nails out and we'll have our boards. Mayor Goldie Wilson. Progress is his middle name. Here we go, bud. Alright, it's the next day on to stage two. I picked up these three by threes. Um, for about three bucks a piece. These were used as pallets to haul transmissions and whatnot. These are pretty tight grained. Um, like it's mostly pine, but there is some oak. There's some hardwood in here um, and maybe some spruce, but uh, I'm gonna treat these myself. These are heat treated, but I'm gonna treat them with uh, exterior paint and use these as posts. So I'm just gonna stack these out on uh, this tarp and I'm gonna paint them. All right, we got these all stacked up, ready to be painted. got one side done. These tops will be cut off so I'm not worrying about painting the, the entire thing. All right, good morning. It's a new day. Uh, I'm gonna maybe start digging holes. So here's where we're gonna put a new fence. We got some critter guard fencing, some barbed wire fencing along this uh, back stretch of the property. And I got a flat. Here's a closer look at what I'm dealing with. In some areas I have one, two, three, maybe even four layers of wire fencing. This all needs to be torn out. And there's my surveyor's flag. So the property line is actually on the other side of this fence and goes hopefully behind most of these trees, but I won't know until I kind of tear all this out. So I'm thinking of cutting it with an angle grinder in sections and then just pulling it all out with my truck. Um, and then this area here, uh, that'll be pretty easy to pull out. <clears throat> so I could put the goats here in our little fenced off garden area but the problem is they'll eat my peach tree raspberry tree air conditioner bikes whatever else we got 
So I'm wondering if it might be easier to build small fences around the peach tree and raspberry bush and the air conditioner and things to keep them out of that. That would be easier than just building a long fence here to keep them in this section. I don't know. Let me think about it. What do you want to do, bud? You want to go in the garden or you want to stay here? You just want to stay where the food is, huh? So I think what I've decided to do, at least with this section, is I'm going to pull up each of these T-posts and then move it back about a foot or two and pound it back in. I got the fence moved back. It's a little easier said than done, but I got it moved back about a foot and a half, maybe two feet in some spots. But that'll give me enough room to work. One string line ran in line with this fence, so my goal is to get everything straight, as always. All right, now I'm gonna measure and mark. Let's see. All right, I got uh, my marks laid out every four feet, which means a lot of digging. So let's get started. Just need to repeat that 20 more times. Finished digging. So now we're putting some gravel at the bottom of each hole, getting ready to set posts. Oh uh -huh. 
I've painted. These are two by sixes that are gonna be the uh, top cap of the fence. And next to install these. Alrighty, got the top cap put on. I don't think I mentioned uh, that I'm gonna be painting this all black to match uh, all our other fencing. So I'm not concerned about the color mismatches and all that. So it'll all be black, which is the final step. All right, it's painting day. It's a little windier than I was hoping, but it's not too bad. I just need to cover up this shed so I don't get overspray on it and this shed and start spraying. Mixing up the paint. We are locked and loaded. Let's get going. I am the final vision. I am the ghost in the wind. I am the revolution. took some effort and got all that rolled up stacked in the trailer now to start painting this side That's a wrap. So all in all, I think I have maybe $400 and change into this. It's about 80 feet. Looks pretty good, nice and uh, straight and has a nice modern look to it. And I got another 300 feet to go, but that'll be for another day. Fight to the end.